Hey everyone, Matt here, and today we're not going to be using my favorite microphone that I use for all of my videos, the Shure SM7B, which is right here. We're actually going to be using a different microphone, and that is the Rode Wireless Pro, and that is the microphone attached to me right here. I'm going to go over why I think that this microphone is the best wireless microphone out there for basically anyone, even better than those DJI microphones. So let's get into it. All right, so first I wanna start by saying I'm a huge DJI fanboy. And you're probably wondering, well, why didn't you get the DJI wireless mics? Because they both have 32-bit float. Well, let's start by saying that the DJI mics are definitely an amazing product. There's absolutely nothing against the DJI microphones. And in a lot of ways, the DJI mics are probably better than the Rode Wireless Pros. But for a lot of things that I do, the Rode Wireless Pros are definitely a better pick for me. And one of those things is timecode. I use timecode for basically everything that I record, both professionally and non-professionally. Timecode makes things so easy for me when editing because I can use multiple different cameras and be able to line it up instantly. The timecode generator that I currently use is the Tentacle Sync. Tentacle Sync is one of the best recorders and timecode generators out there and I use them for everything that I do. So when I saw that the Rode Wireless Pro was able to be jam synced with the Tentacle Sync, it was basically a no brainer for me. I decided to go with the Rode Wireless Pro. And one of the other reasons I chose to go with the Wireless Pro and I sold my DJI units is the ability to screw in the lavalier to the top of the unit. There's been so many times where I've been super scared that my talent or the people that I'm recording are going to accidentally pull the lavalier from the unit. That is such a nerve wracking and scary experience that I know a lot of you probably have shared. And when Rode decided to put that ability to screw in the lavaliers to the top of the units, I was basically sold because I would never have to worry about that ever happening again. And that makes me so happy. Now that's not to say that everything about these units is perfect. There are some things that I do miss from my DJI units. One of those things that I do absolutely miss is being able to basically carry everything in one case. With these units, you are stuck carrying two cases around, even though these cases are quite small and they do look nice. But with the DJI systems, you are basically able to put everything in that one case. And that is something I truly do miss about having that unit because you basically had everything just in one case instead of two. And another thing I like about the road system though, to counter that and to be devil's advocate is basically the ability to have the dead cats attached to the units while in the case. That was something that I absolutely hated about the DJI units. I was not able to actually have the dead cats attached to the units while they were in the case, and it was just quite annoying. So I'm glad that Rode decided to have that ability with these units. So thank you, Rode, for doing that because it's making me super happy, along with some of the other things that you guys did with these units. But um, in the future, Rode, if you guys could make it so that everything fits in one case, even if the case is a little bit bigger, that would be awesome, at least to me. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And another thing that I do miss from my DJI units was the touchscreen on the transmitter. That was very, very handy having that touchscreen on there. And I do miss that because the Rode one is not nearly as nice. I just like the way that DJI did it better because it was more facing you depending on like how you situated your camera. The way Rode does it, it's just, I'm not a big fan of it. That's not to say though that Rode doesn't have a great app both on the iPhone and also on your either Mac device or your Windows device. So I have to say that even though DJI has a better on device interface, I think that Rode has a better on software interface. It's really very fluid and it works really great for setting up your units. And to be honest, once you guys have these things dialed in, you're not really gonna be changing the settings all that often because you're gonna be basically using the same settings every single time once you find out what works best for you. So it's not a big deal breaker and I am still glad I went with the Rode Wireless Pros, but um, it is something that I do miss on my DJI units was the touchscreen and the way the interface worked on those units. One of the things that I loved about my old DJI units was the ability to just drag and drop the information off of the units onto my computer and then dump that right into Premiere Pro and start editing. A lot of people told me that that was not possible on the Rode Wireless Pros. They must have heard a lot of people complaining about that, and to my surprise, they actually work that way now. You can actually plug these units directly into a computer, whether it be Windows or Mac, 
and drag and drop the files without installing the Rode software. Before, with a lot of the older units, the old unit before this wireless pro, you had to actually have the software to basically take any of the audio that you recorded off of it. So it's basically as easy as plugging the unit into the computer, opening the file, taking it off, just like it is on the DJI mics. Now I'm honestly super happy that they put that feature into these units because I was surprised when I was like, oh wow, I can actually do this. Even though a lot of the reviews, like the early reviews said that you couldn't. So they patched it and it's now able to be done. You're able to just drag and drop any files off of these units onto your computer without even installing the Rode software. So that's a huge plus in my book. So what do you guys think? Do you like the Rode Wireless Pro or do you like the DJI Mic 2? In my opinion, I think both systems are excellent systems for recording audio, but some people will like the Rode Wireless Pro better for some things, and some people will like the DJI Mic 2 better for other things. It's really just personal preference, but you really can't go wrong with either system. Also, let me know in the comments below what you thought the audio was like for this video. The audio in this video has been completely recorded with the Rode Wireless Pro, and after editing this video, I thought it sounded absolutely amazing for this wireless microphone. Let me know in the comments below which mic you're gonna be picking up or if I made a mistake going with the Rode Wireless Pro instead of the DJI Mic 2 system. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. In this channel, we talk about a lot of drones, photography, videography equipment. So if that's the kind of stuff that interests you, you can't go wrong subscribing to the channel. So until the next video, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Bye now.